I'm feeling best best I felt. I think you no know, train ever goes perfect, um, but I feel like within the next two weeks of sharpening up, I feel like I'm in the best position I've ever been going into a tournament. I like more hungry than I've ever been. I I have massive self belief that I can that as long as I keep my head down and keep one thing at a time that I can achieve it and it's still more hard work to be done but I've put so many hours and so much time in and I've developed in actually the best position I'm going into the, into a tournament like as a fighter like and I still feel like there's so much more to come for me like in the next even six months but I feel like for now I'm not thinking oh, I was better in shape here or I was a better fighter here I'm actually I'm the best fighter I've ever been and there's still more to come so for me it's like really it is exciting um, like I feel like one day I feel like I'll be able to take over the division. I honestly, like in my heart, I believe that. And I may not be in my best yet, but I definitely feel like I'm in a position to come and go and win the Commonwealth Games and then build off that. Like I'm not being big headed at all, but I mean it in a way that like, all the hard work I put in, I feel like it's ready to start coming off. And yeah, it's quite an exciting place to be, really, for me anyway. What are you taking in your bag? Um, so, your bag? yeah, so we've got our reds, our blue kits, our fighting kit, our boots, our headgear, all our Commonwealth kit, um, like everything and the traditional stuff I've got. Like, my dad always, bless him, every time I go away, he always gives me an array of items and some are very, very useful. And there's always some random, like random ones, which I always love every time he gives me. So he got me some fold up sunglasses, which he thought was great, like like little things like that. And it just, yeah, makes me laugh. And then, um, I've got a friend who gave me something for luck as well, um, which is like, yeah, just like small, like to take with me that I'll always carry. And as I said, I used to have lucky pants, but I, I think I outused them because I think I wore them every fight, like from the, my first ever fight. And then about five or six fights ago, I kind of realised that, like, <laughs> they, they just needed to go in the bin. <laughs> like, I think I still got them in a cupboard somewhere, I wouldn't have binned them, but it was the point that they were just, they're more of a hindrance than, <laughs> than a house. So they've not come, but, um, yeah, I can't think of anything different. I've got like just a few books, a few things to distract me, and then a few things like someone's give me to sort of keep me focused on what I'm there for. I don't think I've got anything else particularly interesting in there. Just a few things for luck. A few. I've got a really nice card off my my family as well. All my siblings and their children all made banners and put it on a card. So that's coming with me. Um, yeah, and my Welsh flag. Of course, my Welsh flag's coming with me. Got two, <laughs> two Welsh flags. So yeah, one for the room and one for after I win. To represent my country at the Commonwealth Games, sort of, ev well, it's everything really, everything you worked so hard for. Like over, like, I think since you were even, like since it became the dream. I think even as a kid, as a young, like nine year old, I really wanted to be like an Olympian. I didn't know it was any idea of being boxing or Olympian or represent Wales in the Commonwealth Games. Like you see athletes who did that and that was like, to me that was like my idol. Like anyone who'd done that. Um, and then now to actually be in a position where I'm going to be going to the Commonwealth Games. Um, with a gold medal in sight, it's yeah, it's quite surreal. It means everything, all the hard work, everything. It's yeah, everything. It sounds like a bit of a cliche, but it is literally so much to me and then to the people that have supported me as well. I was like, I really looked up to like, the brownies even when they were up and coming. Um, that was as I was my older teens. Um, Brownie was I was a massive running swimming fan. Um, Mo Farah before actually became such a big name, I used to love watching him run. Then to be honest, it was actually anyone who was an athlete, like you look at Mike, Michael Phelps and stuff like that and you know it was more actually, um, rather than it being just boxing, because I didn't really find boxing until I was 15, um, it was just like athletes and what they went through and I was a massively sporty kid anyway and that was to me that was like the pinnacle of anything. So um, yeah, I don't, don't think I knew that was where I was necessarily going to go, it was always the dream but I hadn't really found my slot yet. Winning for me I think, yeah, as I said is everything. Um, I think when you put so much hard work in to become second or not to do well enough, it's not really an option. I think you've got to have that winning mentality like as an athlete. And to win actually is to win for your country as well. And it, to me, it's not just winning for me, it is winning for me. But winning for your coaches, for your friends, for your family that supported you, people back home, and then your country above all. And I think um, there's something massive in that. And to fall short would be, um, it's, yeah, it's just not an option for me. Winning is everything.